Right, Michonne. Michonne, what do you have for me, girl? Hey there. What can I do for uh, you? Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over. Okay, you have nothing new for me. I don't think you will. I actually, I'm pretty sure you won't. So, I, I check anyway. Check anyway. Yeah. Rude. What do you want? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it, something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Maybe, but maybe not. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else no, you want to good. know? Thank you, buddy. You're Thank you, buddy. What you got? Statement. H nah, nothing. Alright. Got anything else, Jolie? Got something on your mind, do you? Did I say that? Strange the tricks memory plays on you when you get older. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? I'm not here to satisfy your curiosity. No staring at the old man, that's what the sign says, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history, probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. Oh, fine, fine. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The Council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. Oh, hello. Don't look at me like that, damn it. I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know. I can still fight, too. So wipe off that smirk I see there. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace, but they were getting nowhere as usual. 
I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner, and we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. Oh, it was. I was a half-decent pilot in those days, and with the force guiding me, we made it through some tough spots nobody else would have. Pilot, smuggler, several other things, too. Or did you suppose I was always a crotchety hermit? Yeah, pretty much. Like, I'm pretty sure you were born that way. Well, we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just, uh, knew had more than they could use. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. We only got caught once. A lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... Well, that... that was the day I met my wife. No, no, that was a good memory. There are just much worse ones that followed. I... if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. Oh, well, okay. Jolie, Jolie got a wife. Jolie got a wife, that interesting. What's up, girl? Yes. What is it? I... I have been bothered by something of late. I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? I suppose I was trying to deny what I was I feeling. swear you did. You self-centered fool. To think that I would desire to mate with one such as you, should that even be possible. You are the center of the universe. What does it matter if my homeworld was wiped out by your actions? Who cares if it is because of you that everyone I knew as a child is dead? That fucking came out of nowhere. That fucking came out of nowhere. Taris, it was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. Oh. Well then. If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there, and your fault for rescuing Bastila. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. This has fucking come out of nowhere! Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. I'm now wondering, if I was playing a female, would she still be this angry with me? Or would she be like, ah, ah, I'm, I'm angry with you, but that ass. I ang I'm angry with you, but that ass, though, that's, a, that's, a, that's good. That's, I can't stay mad at that. Uh, I, I should probably play a female once just to see. Like, it's been years since I played a female on this character. Hell, it's been years since I last played this game. I know. I suppose I realized that. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. Oh, I, I wouldn't? I, w I would. Oh, okay. Well, alright. Yes. Yes, I suppose it will. As long as we remain focused on our task, it will. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. We should stop for now. Alright. Alright, you do you, girl. You do you. No one in there. What's you two caught for me? How can I help? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, considering our bond. Yes, there is something I would like to ask, if you'll permit it. 
is about my day. In our time together, I've been watching you. I bet you have. A true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order despite the lore of the dark side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? Nah, it's pretty simple. I just, I just normally pick whatever option sounds the least threatening. It's actually rather simple. You just hover over it and mouse click. It's quite, quite simple. And that's enough for you. If only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. I mean they're not because Obi-Wan got angry plenty of times and look at he turned out pretty well for himself. Yep. Yep. Uh, first one. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm actually not sure. I don't know. Would the power I use to kill Darth Malak be too tempting to keep using? Would I become the kind of evil I want to destroy? The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please. Forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. I don't know about that. Do you have anything else, or is that it? No, nope, that's it. Okay. I hey, Sea Man, what's up? What do you need? Talk about what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. All right then. Well, we've only got one place to go, don't we? We've only got one place to go. Where is he? Korriban. Korriban. Yeah! Wait, none known? That's a lie. The Sith. The Sith are the Korriban native species. I think. Pretty sure. Anyway, peace out, Manon. Never coming back. Fuck y'all. going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karath's vessel. My old mentor. Oh shit, son. Yeah, when you, when you complete three planets, this happens. Which is why I was... Wondering if I should do Manan or Korriban first. Well, yeah, Korriban first. Because if you save Korriban till last, you don't get a little Easter egg. Let me say that again. If you do Korriban last, you don't get an Easter egg. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, to Saul Carrot's flagship was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. 
Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I have a plan. It won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Basic, basically for this next section, you can pick anyone apart from Zalbar and you you gotta do jailbreak shit. Which is fun. Uh, battle meditation. Yeah, one or the other should do it. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Okay, calm down. Alright, so we've got a mission that can break out of shit. We got we got T3 who is a droid who can do droid things. Maybe maybe Joe Lee. Candorus, because Candorus has his healing ability, which is not great. We got Juhani, who can go invisible. And we got HK47. I'ma go ahead and go Joe Lee. I don't think I could use my force powers to convince a whole squadron of troopers to let me go free, but maybe I can use it to get them to take me to a separate cell. They'll probably only leave a single guard to watch over an old man like me. I could use the force to convince the guard to set me free. Then I could free the rest of you. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. I've actually never done that as T3 or HK47. I probably should have tried that. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found an old man in the back. I, I think we should keep him separate from the others for questioning. A strange request. And why do you think this old man should be segregated? I, I'm not sure, Commander. After speaking with him, I just, I, I just think we should question him away from the others. I, I agree, Commander. After speaking with the old man, I think we should question him away from the others. Very well. The Admiral is probably too busy to bother with this old man anyway. Take him to solitary confinement for interrogation. Report back to me if you learn anything. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath. As will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. What are you getting at, buddy? I'm pretty damn devoted. I, 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 I ain't killed nobody for personal gain. Apart from everyone that I've killed for personal gain. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine as it is. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. Ah! 
Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What are you getting at, buddy? What, what are you getting at? I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. Ah, yeah, don't hurt her, I beg you. Uh, um... Wow, that's a, that's a dick answer. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. You say that. You're going to become a bitch now in I want seconds. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? What, what question is... Like, here's the thing. Like, this is this is kind of stupid because it's like, do you want to torture Bachelor for free? Because Malik was trained on Dantooine. Like, he knows. Ah, the fuck with it. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This she makes funny noises. Was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. And that is why you can't get a certain thing on. Well, if you go to. Korriban last because there's a dark there's a dark Jedi in Korriban who you can convert to the light and they go back to Dan, to uh, Dantooine, but now Dantooine's a fucking smouldering pile of rubble. I never liked them anyway. More empty threats. We Sith prefer to let our actions speak for us. Perhaps that is why we are winning this war. Now tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Do you take me for a fool? The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. No. Uh, no! Uh, uh, the pain! The pain! Uh, uh. Listen. Can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Okay, my, my, my thing is gone. My cage is gone. Can I just run out and punch him in the face? Like, what's going on here? Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Ah, ah, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! Ah, no! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. She passed out standing up. That's impressive. That's impressive. I'll give her that. That's impressive. Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Yes, I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Nope. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. 
The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Endar, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival, and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. That's good to know. It's good to know where your convictions lie. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer like that, it might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well then we better hope Jolie busts us out of here before he arrives. I know, right? God, I need to speak with you. What do you want, old man? You better not be trying to where's, where's my force? Where's the force field door? The cell is too drafty. My old bones could catch a chill in here. We don't want that. You better let me out. Uh, yes, it's too drafty in there. Your old bones might catch a chill. We don't want that. Get out of there. You shouldn't have let me out, Sonny. That was wrong. Admiral Carith won't be too happy with you disobeying his orders. Yes. What I did was wrong. Very wrong. You deserve to be locked up in the cell for disobeying orders. Yes, I deserve to be locked up for disobeying orders. <sighs> what, what just happened? What am I doing in here? Damn you, old man. I'll kill you if I ever get out of here. Then I'll be sure to never let you out. Goodbye, Sonny. I can't believe that worked. I, I, I actually can't believe that that is a possible way to do this.